video footage from uh, the expressway. Now let's take you to the Corridor of Justice. Former Nairobi Governor Mike Mbubi Sonko has reprieved tonight after the High Court in Mombasa issued interim orders stopping the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission from gazetting names of all the candidates contesting for Mombasa governor's seat pending the hearing and of course the determination of that case challenging his candidature. It also emerged that the Wiper Party has proposed the name of Ali Mbogo as the governor, while Mike Mbubi Sonko will now be the deputy governor candidate. Now, this came as Nairobi Senator Johnson Sakaja, who is also seeking to be Nairobi's next governor under the UDA ticket, was ordered to wait until Friday to know whether his name will be included in the list of candidates in Nairobi or not. Emmanuel Toh reports. <laughs> Former Nairobi Governor Mike Mbovi Sonko, who is gunning for Mombasa governorship under the Wiper parties tonight, all smiles after the High Court in Mombasa stopped the printing of ballot papers for the governor's seat until his matter is heard and determined. <laughs> The decision, which will have direct implication on the seven other governor candidates, was delivered by a three-judge bench of justices Olga Sewe, Anu Nginjo, and Stephen Gedenji. The court ruled that it would be unfair for the proceedings to continue against Sonko while the commission engaged in the printing process. This came as the Wiper Party finally proposed to switch their gubernatorial ticket in Mombasa, choosing to have Kisauni MP Ali Mbogo, who is the current candidate for deputy governor, to swap positions with Sonko as deputy governor candidate. <laughs> In a letter seen by KTN News, Wipers National Elections Board Chair Ms. Agatha Solitei wrote to the IBC proposing Bogo's name following the judgment by IBC's Dispute Resolution Committee directing the party to submit a candidate within 72 hours after the decision was rendered. IBC lawyer Edwin Mukele said the commission had forwarded the names of the candidates by June 30 to be printed by July 1, 2022. You cannot be disqualified unless or until you exhaust all the avenues of appeal. The bench had earlier stopped Wiper Democratic Movement Party from fielding another candidate for Mombasa governor's seat pending the hearing and determination of the petition filed by Sonko challenging IBC's DRC, which barred him from vying as Mombasa governor. Yes, Sonko's supporters had Monday morning held a prayer session in the court seeking divine intervention in their case. Sonko's case will continue Tuesday. <laughs> However, as the celebrations continued in Mombasa, back in the capital, the wait continues for Nairobi Senator Johnson Sakaja, who has been on the receiving end over his degree certificate from Team University in Uganda. For one to qualify to have a degree recognized in Kenya, it is our humble submission that only one institution, and that is the Council for University Education, can make that confirmation and not the fourth interested party as they have attempted to do. Justice Anthony Mrima, who was hearing the case filed seeking to stop IBC from printing the names of Nairobi governor candidates, said he will give his judgment on 8th of July. And I do confirm that my lord, on request by the CUE as a rejoinder, uh, the fourth respondent presented both his degree certificate and transcripts. These documents, if indeed, and we have, we have said, my lord, most of these are not even belonging to a client. But even if they were, my lord, it would be telling the court to turn on an illegality. Because how did they procure these documents? The question as to whether Nairobi Senator Johnson Sakaja has a degree certificate or not is expected to be answered in four days as the court moves with speed to allow the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IBC, to print the ballot papers of candidates in the August 9th general election. Emmanuel Tor, KT News, Milimani Lokots, Nairobi. Right, this is a story that has been trending for the last 24 or so hours. Deputy President William